everybody, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're back at Halloween Horror Nights here in Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. And we're here tonight to try all the food. There's over 75 food items at Horror Nights. And we're gonna try just a few of them. And we're also gonna check out some of the scare zones that we didn't get to check out on opening night. We'll see the show, Ghoulish, which is like a water show. And we'll check out the Tribute Store. So why don't you come with us on this adventure? Wicked Growth, which was featuring the Pumpkin Lord and this iconic pumpkin that got nicknamed Little Boo. Now he is like the star of Halloween Horror Nights and you can find him when you first walk in if you look directly up. He's like right in the center. First up, from one of the booths in Grammar Street Park, we got the No Chance in Hell PB&J. This is fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich with hot maple syrup and chili flakes on top. But what they ended up giving me looks a lot like an un un Uncrustable. It's not what I pictured, but maybe it'll taste better than, I, than it looks. Why has no one ever thought about deep frying an Uncrustable before? This is amazing. If you love peanut butter and jelly, it's good. The maple syrup gives it a little bit of sweet. The chili flakes give it a little, a tiny, tiny bit of spice. I give this a four out of five Peters. I'm actually surprised because it doesn't look like much, but it it's a, a tasty little snack here. One of the things that I love so much about Halloween Horror Nights here in Orlando is I have these scare zones, but then they just have like an alleyway full of food that the scare actors don't go down. So you can just like hide out in there and drink your drink and eat your food and then go back into the scare zones. From another booth in Gramercy Park, I got one of my most anticipated items, and this is the pepperoni pizza skull. And it's pepperoni and cheese stuffed skull served with a marinara dipping sauce. Looks like he's like in a pool of blood there. And I've heard from a lot of people that this is actually really good. It's almost like a, a spooky hot pocket or something. Mm, this is so good. It is jam-packed stuffed with pepperonis, and the mozzarella is nice and ooey and gooey. And it just, the flavors are really good. I'm honestly surprised. It obviously tastes way better than a Hot Pocket. And you know what, I'm gonna give this one a five out of five. I feel like this is a must get when you come to Halloween Horror Nights. And I got Bog Slime 2, the sequel. This has new Amsterdam vodka, matcha cumin syrup, lime juice, and honeydew syrup. And we chose to get it in a souvenir glass. And the souvenir glass is all blinky. It says Halloween Horror Nights on one side, and on the other side it says Never Go Alone. Oh wow! When I was a kid, my dad would always get Honeydew Melon, and not Honeydew Syrup. Like, instantly transports me back. I like it. It's not incredible. This is not, like, I think I had the Bog Slime last year. The sequel is not better than the original. It's about the same. <laughs> so, you know, I'll give it three and a half out of five, Peter. Pro tip, make sure you get a straw and stir it because I tried it after I stirred it with the straw and it goes up a grade. Whole grade, a whole Peter. It's good. It's like very sour, very sweet and sour. Just like me. I ended up going a little crazy at this booth and I also got myself the Lil Boo Spicy Pumpkin Bun. And this is spicy butternut squash filled steamed bun. And the whole reason I got it is because it looks like a little pumpkin. It looks like Lil Boo. I just have to poke some holes in into it to make his face. I feel kind of bad eating him, but I mean, I love a good bow bun. And I, I love a good gimmick. Like they made it look like a pumpkin, so I was sold. <laughs> this definitely has a kick to it, but it is so flavorful. 
I wish I knew what kind of spices were in it. There wasn't like much of a description of what's actually inside, but I can say for a fact that this is really, really tasty. For a theme park bao type of bun, like this is top notch. And this probably gets like a four out of five because it's cute and it's delicious and it's deadly. Watch out, he'll get you. Or is he friendly? He seems friendly. I don't know why I said he was deadly. <laughs> I was just walking through the fog and I was looking up and I got the scare of my life. There was a character that dressed like a little girl. She was like Andy. very small and she like scared the heck out of me because I didn't see her coming. I, I, I love the scare zone. <laughs> favorite house was Dead Man's Pier, which is Wake, followed by The Weekend, which is very surprising and lovely. Yes. So, the Dead Man's Pier, I feel like, wasn't super scary, but it was very beautiful. And I liked how it was like, the sets, I felt like I was in a movie. And I thought that was like, pretty awesome. I like that you could see different scenes from different scenes. Like, yeah. I could be in one scene and see another scene over top because it was such a massive... I like the levels. Like, you yeah. were like going up and down, and it was like yeah. raining, and it was so much like dimension and like depth to the house. I thought that was really cool. I will say, we went through the weekend twice, and the second time wasn't as good as the first time yeah. because oh. we were hitting ends of songs. Right, yeah, yeah. So, oh. like, the song was ending, like, lights was ending as we were going through the tunnel, so there wasn't anything happening. Right, yeah. Oh, that's just like kind yeah. of quiet. It was a really good house. It was, still it was, really it was great. very surprising. I, was, I didn't know what to expect, but I didn't expect it to be that good. One thing you're going to want to be on the lookout is in one of the alleyways it's called Water Street is Meats' Meat. This is like a meat stand where it has all sorts of treats and food inspired by ground beef and maybe they're making stuff out of people. There's like bodies hanging, there's meat hanging. They even have the, the, the beating gummy hearts that were at the tribute store last year. And there's even a bar serving Bloody Marys. So I'm not gonna lie, I wanted like one of each thing on the menu, but what I decided to get is the Fresh Ground Princess, and this is a sweet raspberry flavored Rice Krispie Treat. But you know that I love Rice Krispie Treats. I couldn't pass this one up. The packaging and like the display is just like so photogenic and I'm such a sucker for that sort of thing. Oh, ew, it's like extra like squishy. Oh no, this is gonna be messy, isn't it? God, it really feels like it's like wetter than a normal Rice Krispie treat. Is that all in my mind? <laughs> I don't really taste the raspberry and I don't really like the consistency. I know that what they're going for, but it almost tastes a little bit stale or something. Like it doesn't, it's not a good Rice Krispie treat. So I might like maybe come look at them, maybe ask if you could take your photo with the packaging, but I don't think I could recommend paying for this. That makes me so sad. There was another one that had like hot Cheetos and like cheese. We should have got that one. Cause that one sounded like so crazy. But yeah. I mean, I'd still give it like a, like a two, maybe like a two out of five. It doesn't even taste like raspberries. What the heck? From the same booth, I got the fried zombie brains. This is fried cauliflower florets, tossed in spicy gochang sauce garnished with toasted sesame seeds and scallions. Does it look like fried bra uh, zombie brains? I mean, I've never seen zombie brains, but it, it does look like brains, doesn't it? This is good. You know, we don't eat a lot of like vegetarian dishes on the channel. Usually, they don't sound good to me personally. I'm more of a carnivore, but if you could make cauliflower taste like this always, I would order it everywhere. Like, this is so good. That sauce, a little bit of spice, just a little bit of a kick. Uh, actually, Kitra had this at the press event yesterday. And this morning I was like, how do you like that cauliflower he had? And she was like, what cauliflower? And she thought it, she ate chicken. It tasted that, it tasted almost like chicken. But I highly recommend this. I'd give this like a four and a half feeder, you know. Maybe it doesn't look as good as the meat in the packaging, but it does look zombie brain goodness. I just tried the zombie brains. 
again. And it's like freaking me out because the consistency is like mushy. I mean, I'm sure they are like deep fried or something, but like, I don't know what they do to make them like kind of soggy. It's very bizarre. And now I'd like to thank Base for sponsoring this portion of today's video. As you know, we love to travel and having good luggage makes our adventures that much easier. We've been using Base carry-on roller luggage for the last few months now, and we've been loving all the features. I love that they come with compression straps that help Help you pack more clothes in the same amount of space it's like magic they have a built-in weight indicator that tells us if we bought too many souvenirs there are so many cool little things like the retractable bag attach strap 360 degree gliding wheels the cushioned handle that feels so nice and it even comes with washable bags for your dirty clothes and i love the way these bags look and people love them base has over 30,000 five-star reviews. That's a lot of stars. It is. And right now, Base is offering our viewers 15% off your first purchase when you go to basetravel.com slash ordinary. Go to basetravel.com slash ordinary for 15% off. That is B-E-I-S travel.com slash ordinary. And now back to the adventure. Optimus Prime actually looks very evil with this Halloween Horror Nights lighting package. Right now we're gonna head over to Ghoulish, which is the water show on the lagoon. We didn't get to see this on the opening night of Halloween Horror Nights. We loved it the first year. The second year, it wasn't that good. Can it redeem itself? Hello, and welcome to Ghoulish, a tale of Halloween. Fiendish ghouls call you to a lone, hollowed graveyard, where spiritous creatures from the beyond have now lured you into their trance. This concludes the living portion of the album. You must now learn what to do, now that you are dead.
This brings us to the end. This is the end. This is the end. animations were really cute, but like the music didn't really go to them that well. That said, when the weekend part hit. I know. I kind of wish the whole thing was just the weekend. Like it was just like the maze, like all the same songs. Yeah. I thought it was better than the thing they did last year. See, this scare zone's cool because during the daytime, that does not look like a barn. But at nighttime, it actually... I see it. I see it. Staples here at Halloween Horror Nights is the Twisted Tater. This is a potato spiraled fried. It comes in so many different versions. There's garlic, there's sea salt, there's sour cream and chives, there's ghost pepper. This year, there's even a Twisted Tater with queso and it has like Flaming Hot Cheetos and ghost pepper seasoning. And we had to try that out. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Lord. What have I done? <laughs> you can get the Twisted Taters all over the theme park. Like Peter said, they're like a classic item here at Halloween Horror Nights. The stand that we went to is right over by Animal Actors. And the one that I got has white cheese sprinkled with flaming hot Cheetos and a ghost pepper seasoning. And it's just like a, a spiral potato, I guess, like deep fried. This looks so freaking good. I'm wondering how spicy it's gonna be though. Like, do you think it's gonna be really spicy? Maybe. It smells. It smells like potatoes and cheese, my two favorite things. <laughs> Look at that. This is very, very good. Oh, the spice, there it is. I was like waiting for the spice to hit me. It's just like a little bit of a tingling sensation on your tongue once you've like chewed it all. So if you're like, if you don't like spicy things, I really think you can handle this. It mainly just tastes like cheese. I mean, you could kind of taste it. They might have not just put that much on. I don't know. Maybe I got like a, a faulty one, but the flavors are very, very good. This is like the perfect snack to just grab and walk around the theme park. There's a reason why this is a classic and it comes back every year. I just like that like every year they put a new twist on it. Get it? Twist, twisted taters. So every year you can come back and get a new flavor. So I appreciate that. This probably gets like a like a 3.5 out of 5. I was looking to be like blown away. And it is good, but it's not like amazing. It's not spicy enough. <laughs> in the Simpsons area. It makes no sense. Across the lagoon from the Simpsons is the Little Boo booth. Or should it be the Little Booth? <laughs> Get it? They have some corn dogs there that look very interesting. The one I, that I was very interested in is called the Churro Dog on a stick. 
This is a Korean style fried corn dog tossed in cinnamon sugar. But they also had like a maggot covered one that we didn't get, but that looked gross. I mean, good gross. It looked, I will say guys, it's very hard to shoot a food video at night at Halloween Horror Nights because there's not much light around. It's hard to make food look appetizing, but I assure you a bunch of the stuff is actually good. But let's try the churro dog, which I'm not sure if I'm excited for or I'm just excited about the idea of it. It's probably gonna suck. Growing up, I used to make cinnamon toast and this reminds me more of that than an actual churro. I was expecting this to suck, but this is actually very good. It's a combination of sweet and savory. If you like cinnamon sugar and you like corn dogs, you'll like this. This might be a new Halloween Horror Nights classic in the making. I'm gonna give this a five out of five, Peters. Whoa. Let's see what Kitra thinks. Maybe it will get the Ordinary Adventure star. Smells like a churro, but there's a freaking dog in there, so it's got me confused. I don't know why I'm scared to eat this. Why is this good? Like, why is this actually good? I'm not sure, maybe the batter is different. Like, I feel like it's not like a traditional corn bo dog batter. Maybe it's Korean corn dog. Yeah, so maybe that's why. If it had like that really corny kind of batter, I don't think it would work. But whatever's going on here, it's actually pretty good. Let's give this the Ordinary Adventure star. This is one of the like the best things that we've had so far tonight, I think. I'll finish this. Oh, now it's like a knife. First this is food, then it's a weapon. Get it? So it's like two for one. <laughs> Take heed of my word. Open the gates to another worldly portal and bring forth the blood sacrifice. <laughs> now, now, wretched creature, your fate has already been determined. Find solace in the honor of your selection. <laughs> The darkness that emanates from planes of sorrow and dread lays way for the blood you will shed. The crimson that will flow ensures my legion's power will grow. This unsoiled blood shall be our Vitality! On a different day, we got to experience the tribute store, and here's the footage from inside. You know what I? I think this is themed after like a dark ride, like an old school carnival dark ride. Oh yeah. There's a station here, like a control station. Can you turn it on? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think these buttons actually do anything, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't doing anything because we didn't pull the lever. Oh, <laughs> those are broken too. I bolted, watch out! Oh, this is so cool. I'm always so impressed whenever we go into the tribute stores. Wow. Oh, look, there's the tracks for the vehicle. Yeah, watch out, don't trip. For those of you who aren't familiar, every year at Universal Studios Orlando, they do what they call a tribute store, where they pay tribute to Halloween. It's all the spooky merch, and they have it running all throughout Halloween Horror Nights time. It's all themed, it's awesome. It's all themed, it's always epic, and every year it's different. This year's Halloween Horror Nights celebrates Halloween, the season that started it all, and they have like these retro designs. Yeah. I like this one with little Boo, the black cat, and the skull. Yeah, I really, really love the design this year. I think it's so fun. I wish they had this on like an adult t-shirt. I think they only have it on like a kid's t-shirt and it's like what the heck? prop top. <laughs> they also have puffs over here. Wow, look at that. Halloween Horror Nights 2022. Does it have little boo? Uh, no, it doesn't, actually. What the heck? I know. It has other pumpkins, though. There's even a Halloween Horror Nights scented candle. And it smells like a combination of like pumpkin and fog. It smells good. It's almost a little bit smoky, like a smoky pumpkin. I'm obsessed with this fanny pack. 
How cool is that? It says Halloween every day is Halloween. I love the spirit jersey. Every day is Halloween. It has all the like little retro icons. But not little boo again. Where's little boo? Little boo should be like right here. Yeah. <laughs> But I like this a lot. Yeah, this is a little bit thinner than a normal spirit jersey. It's more just like a little bit thick of a long sleeve t-shirt. Yeah, well you can't wear a spirit jersey at Halloween and Hard Nights. It's too so hot here. Hot. Oh my god. I'm so tempted to get this mini, but like it's not like cold enough in LA during the Halloween season. It looks good on you. Dude, your glasses right now are lit, literally. They look so cool. You keep getting so many compliments. Yeah, I had no idea that they were black light reactive. Oh, they're awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> but should I get it? Yeah. Maybe I'll get it. Check this out. It's a flannel. It's a flannel, but it has the Everyday is Halloween logo on the back. This is cool. And then on the front, Halloween Horror Nights 2022. I like this a lot. Yeah, that's been very popular. I've been seeing a lot of people buying and walking around with that. And they have these awesome Pumpkin Lord annual pass holder exclusive t-shirts. He's the icon of Halloween Horror Nights this year. And let me tell you, he is a legend. I yeah, you may him. have seen that we saw him when we came in uh, the other night. Yeah, so I don't know. I might have to, I like this because it's like that. It's like a retro design. I don't know. I feel like this is really, really cool. And it's exclusive to pass holders only. All the Universal Orlando annual pass merchandise has the same design of the Pumpkin Lord. There's a tote. They also have a car magnet and a pin. This is kind of cool. It looks like they do a weekly magnet. So if you're a local and you come back here a lot and you have the frequent fear pass, they come back and get a different magnet every week until the end of Horror Nights. That's this week, fun. This week it's the Halloween. Yeah, every day I feel like Halloween. this is the best one. Oh, I need to buy this sign. I don't know where we're going to put it, but it'll be part of our Halloween decoration. Yes. And I want to point out this t-shirt which I think lists all the mazes this year. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? I think I, I finally decided that the weekend. Wait, why isn't the weekend on here? Oh, maybe they don't have the rights to the oh, merch. Well, <laughs> that one I think was my favorite. Dead Man's Pier, <laughs> Winter's Wake was the best maze. I should just take a Sharpie and write like, the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it says scares at every turn. And of course it has the pumpkin lord, and then like a witch and a Scarecrow and some ghosties. Spooky. I like this hoodie. It's like tie dye. Yeah, it's black tie dye. And on the back, the same design. Guys, a different time. I love that tie dye's back in. Yeah, I think you brought it back in style. <laughs> Do you see it? What? Look above you. It's a butt check. Yeah, it really is. Only we would notice that. <laughs> Oh, it looks like we're now entering the cemetery. One thing I want to point out is every room smells slightly different. Like that one smelled like pumpkins. This one kind of smells like like marine water or something or like damp graveyard smell, but it smells good. So this t-shirt is part of the artist series, which they have famous artists create art based off some of the maze. I have one from Frankenstein's Frank Bride last year. Yeah, this one's really cool. This one's based off of the maze with the mummy, Dracula, and the wolfman. And it even says it's black light reflective. Yeah, and I like this material. It's like super soft. Yeah, this is cool. They also sell that same design as a poster. So you can get home and hang it on your wall. And here's the design for the non-artist series version of that maze. I had my weekend shirt. It's just his face on the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> if ever wanted a Blumhouse maze Christmas ornament? They got you covered. I think we're seeing a trend here. So they have a Halloween t-shirt, and this design is of course printed on many different things, including a frame, glass cup, coffee mug, and hoodie sweatshirt. They even have a Halloween mini backpack with a knife as the zipper. <laughs> a bloody knife. This is a first. I found this all Hallow's Eve magic rune spray and I think this is just like a fragrance that you spray around your house but it smells like it smells like pumpkins mixed with like margaritas they even have some photo ops in here like they have this coffin
We also have dark cider spells, and this one smells freaking good. It literally smells like caramel apples. Ooh, I like that. So the next room that we're going through is a mausoleum filled with gravestones of many different people. And I've heard there's one down here that you might recognize. One way, do not enter. <laughs> I wish I could have picked what it said on my tombstone. It would have been like, he was a connoisseur. Oh my god, that would have been <laughs> perfect. You want to find Peter in here? He's literally right by the exit door. Yeah, they put me down on He's the like floor. hidden in the corner. <laughs> Let's find me. I'm in here somewhere too. They didn't put us next to each other. Here's our friends, Jackie and Sam. Yeah, they put them next to each other. Found myself. I'm not quite on the bottom, but I'm one row up. What does my say? Follow me at your own risk. That is very true. <laughs> <laughs> we found Kevin. He says, be right back. That is such a Kevin thing to say. <laughs> he probably said that right before he died. There's Promise. I think I found my favorite one, and it's Dexter right here. Return to sender. <laughs> yeah, if, if we knew we could do pets, we probably done, would have done Pixel and Gizmo or not. Yeah, Us. next time, next year. Oh, it's actually like metal and engraved. I didn't realize that. That's cool. That's where he lies. <laughs> I don't know. What, what should I say? Should I, say something? I don't know. Peter's sitting on the ground, by the way. <laughs> yeah. But I had to see my grave. I had to see my, my spot. Wow, all the way down here, and now I feel like I'm not going to be able to get back up. My God. Oh, God. There she rests forever. It's a workout. I know, okay. I'll just stay here. I might as well. Okay, I think I finally figured it out what the rooms are themed after. They're themed after like the main design. So there's like a graveyard, skeleton room, a witch room, and a pumpkin room. Which is all like the design on the shirt. And they said the perfect souvenir didn't exist. Well, I'm here to tell you that it does. You can get a sparkly, glittery little boo ornament. This is adorable. Oh my god, they even have a little boo socks. I like how a thing that was like big on social media last year just became a phenomenon here at Universal. They even have a little boo hat, but it's sold out. It's like that like is flying off the shelves. They had a sipper. Yeah. Oh, they don't have that? No. That's sold out? Dang. Freaking got him. They have a little boo, boo candle. They have candles of everything. They do. There's so many candles this year. Ooh, this one's like more traditional, just straight up pumpkin goodness. You know, the little boot smells so good. I wish they made this shirt for adults. Unfortunately, it's only made for kids, but I think this would sell huge if they made this for adults. Yeah. Well, they made leggings. You could always wear those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pass on that one, honey. So at Universal Halloween Horror Nights, they have this thing called Studio Screamers. It's like a mystery box with vinyl figures. These cute designs that's all different... Uh, I guess icons? Is, is Casper an icon? I mean, to me he is. Yeah, so they're mystery boxes. You don't know what you're going to get, and I'm going to get one. Are you? Yeah. Okay, cool. And they make a whole line of merch. They make a button up. They even make this knockoff lounge fly. And they even make a huge version of Frank as a popcorn bucket. Yeah, it's $38, and your first popcorn fill is free. But I just like that you're eating out of his head, so it's like you're eating his brain. Oh, it's the back of his head opens up. <laughs> the final room is kind of like the town festival where they're putting on their Halloween party. I like it. I think this is the winner for the best shirt this year. It's all the foods that you could get at Halloween Horror Nights. The Twisted Tater, which we tried. The Pizza Fries, which is like a classic. We tried those last year. This is awesome. And the Blinky Cup. It even says Blinky Cup. That's so funny. I might need to get this. Me too. It's awesome. Join the cult of the Blinky Cup. That is so true. In case you need something to put your Blinky Cup in, they got you covered. I wish I got this last night. That's a great idea. You just have my blink. You don't even have to like, you could probably get a straw and it just goes perfectly in your mouth. <laughs> Genius. This is freaking awesome. Check this out. They have a bunch of phone cases this year. They even have Apple watch bands. Forget little boo. How about little, I don't care about anything. And this is little having too much fun. You look awesome. I can wear these. You can wear your neon glasses. It would be quite the pair. So this year, there's only one cart of treats. I feel like this year's 
tribute store is a little bit more low key than previous years. Yeah, but what I love is every year the treats are different. Yeah. So they're all very unique and spooky. What do we got here? We have some, ooh, cookie dough balls. Those are cute. We also have a coffin chocolate brownie. Ooh, look at that bloody knife cake. For some reason there's a dark rose eye. Oh my God, this one's my favorite, the s'mores ghost. How cute. Look at little boo down there. Oh my God, you're right. You could get a little boo for $16. Oh, but that's like a souvenir. Okay, we're gonna get that. Okay. I wanna get some gas from Ghoulis Ghouls gasoline. And every year at the tribute store they have wax machines. Here, this year you can make an orange Frankenstein or a blue full body Frankenstein. And it looks like this is where our dark ride goes into maintenance. And of course, like any good ride, you exit through the gift shop. It's a big gift shop, but they do have- Whoa, these. they have coins, four for 15. There's Why? a little boot coin. Why is Casper a one? I don't understand, but you can get the pumpkin lord. And who's that, Dracula? Maybe. I just want that one. Yeah, one thing I usually love about the tribute store is usually filled with Easter eggs. This year it didn't have as many but the merch here is all merch from this this town that we went through. So like the pumpkins. I was turned into a frog at the witch's cottage. But I think my favorite one is gone, but not forgotten. Remember that? That was a tribute store. Look at that. I survived the tribute store. They should sell them. They, I would buy it. They had three different flavors of this little boo cake cup. They had cookies and cream, chocolate, and red velvet. I ended up getting the cookies and cream one. It almost looks like there is red velvet in there as well. Hmm, maybe that's just the cream. The cream is that flavored. It's so cute, I don't want to eat it. Okay, so that was mainly just frosting, but this is actually really good. I'm actually very surprised. This is very moist. It tastes fresh. I was worried, you know, with this, some of the stuff in there, it might be like sitting around for a little bit, but this is actually really good. It is $16, so it is a little bit pricey, but you're really paying for the souvenir. And I'm gonna give this one like a four and a half out of five. I'm like really pleasantly surprised. I can already feel that I'm gonna have a sugar rush though, because it's very, very sweet. There's many, many layers, so if you keep digging down, you're gonna get more and more. So I really want Pumpkin Lord. That's the one that I'm, I'm really hoping to get. If anyone wants to trade with me, if you have like an extra pumpkin lord, send me a message on Instagram. Maybe we could we could trade if you really need Michael Myers. Just saying, because I don't I don't want to buy another one. If you haven't seen our video of the opening night of Halloween Horror Nights, we went through all the mazes and scare zones. We'll put that right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Tiffany Lopez, Mike Garza, Taylin, Jade, and Laura and Scott. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on the next, next adventure. adventure.